Hey guys, okay. Sun's come back up, it's daytime. Now let's see how we can uh, start to get the water out of the ship without using sponges. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to block up some of the areas just with some dirt for now. Section this off. Um, section this off like this. Um, dirt's great because, yes, um, it absorbs the water, uh, but not like sand. And that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using sand. Um, take the water out of this ship. Um, and then we can actually use the ship. So, as you can see, look, there are how many blocks here? Uh, look, there's a number of blocks. Um, I've got my little safe spot here that I've started to, to clear out. Um, but there's too much water in there just to use a bucket. I mean, you can use your bucket. Takes a little bit of water out. Guess what? The water just comes straight back. Um, can't put the water into there. So what I do is I get a T in a section, like a, a T section like that. Take out the top, throw the water in, throw in a bucket of sand, a block of sand. Um, pick it up. There we go. And we do that again. Um, but using the sand, we can actually um, start taking the water out of here. Um, the problem that we're going to have is this funny shape. See where the chest is? There's a funny shape there. And a little bit difficult. So if you can get rid of that section there, look at that. We've just all this area here. We take the sand out here. Open that up, of course. <laughs> That's not going to work. Um, we're going to throw some down there. Here we go. We've just got this little section here. What I can do is put some more sand in here. Take that out. Empty that into here. Put the sand back in. All right, I'm going to take that bit out. I'm going to take that bit out. And I'm going to take that bit out. I'm going to get my bucket. I am going to take that bit out. And I think we're just about done. We are done. Look at that. There we go. That's how we've cleared out all that that was submerged. We've just taken that out there. The funny part is these funny shapes. Like you might have a set of stairs. You might have a chest. You might have um, a trap door. Um, they make difficult shapes. So um, where you can't have a, a solid shape like a block like that. Uh, a a weird shape. See how there's this section here, so the water still gets trapped in there. That's the sections where you, the the sand, for instance, won't absorb it. Um, when you take the sand away, this little area here will still have water in it. So that's the one area that you need the bucket for. Outside of that, you can throw some sand down, and there we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast track this. I'm going to take the rest of this sand out. Actually, I'm going to do this right now. This is how quickly this will work. Assuming you have enough sand, you can get rid of this whole area. One hit like that. The only place, again, um, sometimes when there's windows. So, yep, here we go. There's a window there. So, um, that's when you need your empty water bucket. Open that up again. Get right down to the water level. Use a bucket. There we go. That'll, that'll take one more empty. Um, I've also found that windows too, when you try and take um, water from the window, um, sometimes you need to block the other side of the window. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Sand, sand, get the water. Okay, empty. Um, little section here because again, funny shape where the stairs are. Get rid of the water. Look, it's it's tedious. Um, quite often there's a number of steps for just a little bit of water. However, um, given that you play survival, given that you can't just go and creative, you don't have access to sponges, which obviously work the best. Um, it's a it's a great go-to and sand so readily available. You don't have to, you can if you can't come across sand in a biome. Um, I'm sure the a little bit of searching and, and you've got ample. So, um, here again, take this little, okay, another little funny shape. Trying to take the water out of there. That's solid object, that's a solid object, that's a solid object there. But here, we've got your little window shape where your stairs are. So get down low, take the sand out, that's one. My little T in a section, take the top bit out, and throw some sand in. 
down again and take that section out there. Still going nearly there. Yeah, look, sponges, I'm not sure how many, um, what area sponges take water out. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, is it a 4x4 block? Is it an 8x8 block? I'm not sure. Um, this is a, yeah, a much more painstaking way of doing it, but cost effective. Costs you nothing. You don't need to hope that you, you come across a, a wandering llama trader. You know, you, you don't have to hope that you stumble across a chest and there's a 0.3% you know, chance or something like that that, you know, there, there may be a sponge inside. Um, this is the solution that I found. It certainly works, as you can see. Um, takes a little bit of time, but the end result is um, you get your ship, get the water out of it, and in survival mode, yeah, it's, um, it's a great acquisition. There's places to store things. Um, there's doors, of course. If you uh, go into that captain's quarters in there, whatever that's called, let's call it the captain's quarters, you can put a door in there, lock the windows up, and you're actually safe. Um, when you when mobs are on, so I'll um, I'll stop it here. You you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm running out of space. That's um, all the stuff that I've found so far. I haven't come across anywhere where I actually want to um, set up a base or anything like that. I, I don't have a chest or anything like that. There are plenty in here I can use, uh, but I want to get myself up to the captain's quarters there. Um, for now, I'm just going to throw some sand down, but what I will do is I'll create a path and um, continue on and I'll get back to you shortly. Thanks. Bye.